In this segment we're going to talk about roads and how to keep you on them. The roads sort of are completely different as you would be aware than a racetrack. The roads throw so many different obstacles at you whether it be oil, rain, a whole bunch of different other environments, gravel. So around every corner is something different. Racetracks are designed for racing and when they design a track they generally keep in mind that there's probably going to be crashes happening. On the street, a completely different environment altogether. You have objects such as trees, don't move a lot, cars, barriers, curbs, a whole bunch of things that are going to sort of make, make crashing something that you want to avoid at all costs. When cornering, my advice is to keep a, a fairly broad view so you can take in as much of the picture as you possibly can, but also whether it be going around a, a right-hand corner with, with oncoming traffic, to, to, to look at the white line in the middle, to follow the white line, look about 10, 20 metres ahead of where you're actually going and that'll give you a good scope of where you need to go. And, and exactly the same reverse, if you're going around a left-hand side, a left-hand turn with, the, with the, the grass on the inside, look to the inside around 10, 15 metres ahead of you and that will help just give you a nice continual line around the turn. But again, keeping in the big picture, looking for any trouble spots that may exist. Braking is a critical part of, of motorcycle safety. Making sure that your brakes are actually being serviced and, and, and capable of stopping is a good start. But you never know the conditions of the road. Again, you never know whether there's a little bit of oil being dropped by a truck, it's a little bit damp or a bit of gravel. That will, that will change the stopping distance completely. Plus, using the rear brake in conjunction with the front brake will actually reduce your braking, your braking uh, distance immensely. So sort of learning how to brake correctly I think is the key and also the, the key again keeping to the speed limits. You know a motorcycle doesn't stop anywhere near as good as a car and you've always got to keep that in mind. Riding with passengers on your bike changes the dynamics of the motorcycle altogether. They're not designed to have passengers on them. The rare few that are even don't handle as well when there is a passenger on the back. So just remember the bike isn't going to steer, it's not going to stop, it's not going to do anything near as well as if it was just yourself on the bike. 